Okay, uh, hello friends. This is Yusuf here. Welcome to another uh, interesting video. So here, uh, for the re recent past days, uh, there were requests about uh, how to uh, invoke a post web service or a post REST endpoint uh, from RPGLE. Okay, so we have seen how to create a, a post uh, no a endpoint in RPGLE, but this one is how to call a post method. So actually, it is pretty straightforward with uh, by using the Scott's uh, no uh, HTTP LIB. So now to demonstrate that, I'm I have just created a simple uh, no uh, web server in the cloud. Okay, so using a Node.js. So basically, here is a simple application and uh, it's currently running on some virtual host. So if you come, if you see here, there is a, a host URL. Okay. And currently, I have created only two endpoints. Uh, one for like normal Git. I'm just displaying some JSON, and one with, with post uh, with the slash new as an endpoint. And uh, I'm trying to print the console body here just to see the response. And then I'm returning some uh, no JSON. So our main objective is how do we pass the data, whether it could be XML or JSON, from RPGLE by invoking uh, no this post URL and how the data comes here. So we'll see that in action. So uh, if you go to a uh, sample, no, uh, this one, the API Explorer, just to demonstrate, right? Uh, if you take the URL, uh, copy it and uh, paste it here. So if you make a get request, so normally we'll get, uh, no, the 200 response with the true and hello hold, hello hold, because that's what we're returning here. So if it is slash new, and uh, if you make that as post, uh, endpoint I uh, request and we can pass say the data so here uh, there's a simple JSON I'm just uh, passing to check to check whether it is getting interfaced so now you can see that here the data ha received and we are sending the message like post success that will be received you now here and if at all I am changing this to XML say for example and we need to give some XML data so I'm just creating some XML data here again okay, name So if I the, note that the content type actually changes here. Okay, if it, if it is JSON, then it is application slash JSON. If it is XML, then it is application slash XML. Okay, and if I send this request, so I got the same response because uh, we are sending the same response for any of the type. But here, what you can see here, we uh, the the XML is getting interpreted into a JSON. This is because of one of the feature what we have is called XML express xml body password okay so this is a node.js stuff so but what we are going to see is uh, the xml what we are passing is able to reach to this particular service and then it is printing it now let's do this with our rpgld so i have three programs here uh, the first one will do a json based second one will do xml based and third one is a, di a different one like when we receive the response uh, most of you guys uh, might have given uh, if file name to receive the response and then you will see the response in the ifs file but there is also options to receive the response in a variable directly so that will be very useful right so in some cases you want to invoke a service and you want to see the data in the program itself and then uh, based on the data we need to do some action so in this case uh, we don't want to go read the file re read the ifs file again and then do the operation so let's see how to do that in the third example okay so if you go to the uh, example one uh, nothing here actually I'll read, directly go to the uh, code so here is what we're going to use so basically you might have seen like http underscore get or uh, you know uh, http underscore string so there are different uh, you know wrapper available in the stocks uh, http lib and one of the common thing is http underscore request so http underscore request is used to send any kind of request okay uh, it is very similar to http underscore string but uh, that is for small uh, small you no know, payload this is for a larger payload so basically what i have so i have set the uh, http header option content type is equal to application slash json and then i'm just having in you know, a one variable a simple json object to see whether to send and here is my url uh, based on our uh, no sample node.js application and uh, what we are doing here is actually calling the http request method with the first parameters as a method post and then second is actually the url and then the remaining four actually uh, it's like a toggling option okay so basically for a post service we can send the data and we can request some data right 
so these two option sending and receiving there are options so one is actually you no know, uh, we can have a file to receive the output okay and then uh, we can have a uh, option to st uh, you know uh, string to receive the output and here file to send and string to send so here we are going to send the string right because the string is in the variable so that's why string to send it's a variable name and uh, we are expecting the output in a file so that's why we given the uh, file to receive is a file name other two options are uh, no omit so after this if it is successful we will see some response here uh, we will see one if it is successful if not we will get some error okay and after that uh, i am just uh, displaying the output so that we will see what happened okay so let's quickly run this one okay so we just come here and then we see the data is having the json and we have set the application slash json as our content type and then we are calling the post method so now if you go here you can see that the user id title and then uh, body have reached and you can see the response code is actually one and uh, obviously now if you go and look into this particular thing which will happen in the display file command we see the data true and post success cool but now our objective is to send the xml right so let's go to the next example so here i have not done nothing okay i just using the same uh, you know variable to hold the xml data uh, but the point is it is a manually cooked xml but that's okay but i'm changing the option to application slash xml and other than that nothing changes okay so let's see what happens in this case so let's compile this one So you can see the form data now holds the XML data. Now I have name and age as the elements inside the root tag. And when we post, here you can see that root uh, as a the parent element and inside it has you no know, name and age with the value. So the parsing is already happened by the program. But the point is we are receiving the data. When we send us XML also, we are receiving the data in the server side. And that's how it goes. Now the final example what we're going to see is actually how to receive the output and this output how do we capture this message basically into the program rather than going and seeing into the IFS file okay so pretty straightforward here I'm taking the uh, XML example doesn't matter actually but what is important is actually these four parameters okay now you can see uh, string to send so we're going to send using the string that's why the variable name is here and uh, string to receive is actually the uh, variable name so now we have given omit to the third uh, parameter which means uh, we are not giving the ifs file name to receive the output but we are telling give me the result in the variable res data uh, the one point which i have noticed is uh, this data is uh, no declared into the uh, http api underscore h file with this particular uh, declaration which means we have to follow the same uh, declaration so that the you no know, prototype will be matching so just have a note on that okay uh, fine now, now let's see what happens so uh, one more point uh, suppose uh, you have the larger data you don't want to put you no know, into a single variable then obviously you can have the data in a file okay and then give the file name into this uh, one two three four fifth parameter okay file to send so you can even send the xml data which is available in a path and give the file name here it will take the data from the file and then send it okay that's also one option so if you want to post if you want to download a data or xml from uh, s400 to other server you can use this kind of mechanism now let's quickly try to see how it works okay so same thing nothing changes so i'm coming here same uh, data point we have i'm giving f10 so here you can see the request came but the important thing is now the res data will be having our uh, response which is success to message post success so that's actually the quick uh, thing which i want to cover in this video um hopefully this could have given you some you know uh, things uh, i can see like a few people uh, ask me uh, frequently on this how to send the uh, post service and also mainly the xml thing from our rp jelly i hope this could have given some uh, you know uh, input to them uh, they will get it work so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video the different concept uh, until then thanks for watching